no family, making less than $250,000 a year, will see any form of tax increase. We should lead by setting a high example for civil liberties and civil rights and due process and rule of law, which is why we should close Guantanamo and restore habeas corpus. I know he'll be able to help me turn the page on the ugly partisanship in Washington so we can bring Democrats and Republicans together to pass an agenda that works for the American people. Well, that was then-Senator Barack Obama promising big change during his 2008 successful presidential campaign. Those promises you just heard pretty much went unfulfilled over the past four years, including his vow to work with the other side of the aisle. Our next guest says if President Obama had lived up to his promises, things would look very different right now. Fred Barnes, writing in the Weekly Standard, quote, if he had done in his first term what he now vows to accomplish in a second term, he'd be in a far stronger position to win re-election next Tuesday. He might have been a shoe-in. Fred Barnes joins us now. Fred, you know, people have short memories when it comes to re-election time. Take us back to four years ago. What did the president promise and, and where do you think he went wrong? Well, it really starts with the stimulus package that was passed right after he was inaugurated in 2009. Uh, he promised Republicans they could have some input. As it turns out, they had none. And what Republicans were proposing was a pro-growth tax cut, actually several of them. Uh, and, now, and now, of course, uh, uh, President Obama is now talking about having one again in his second term. He didn't get that in his first term, and he rejected it. And we've had slow growth and a, and a really pretty anemic recovery. He's now policy, you know, promising to really reduce health care costs, which his Obamacare plan did not do. Uh, instead, Obamacare really had uh, put a damper on hiring and job creation. If, if he hadn't done that, and if he'd been more bipartisan, remember the Simpson-Bowles uh, commission, which, which <laughs> that his commission... Right. Which he appointed indeed, John. And, and they recommended what he could do to really tackle the whole deficit and debt problem. He, he just kissed off their recommendation, uh, didn't do anything. Now he's, now he's actually talking about Simpson Bowles and, and saying, well, he'll do this in his second term. But mostly is what you touched on. He's promised to be incredibly bipartisan, you know, in one of, he, in one he, of his interviews. He told a, yeah, he told a radio interviewer, I'll wash John Boehner's car, I'll walk Mitch McConnell's dog. <laughs> yeah. You can't get much stronger language than that. And, uh, and he said he's sure he can get a bipartisan grand bargain with Republicans next year. Well, you know, they came close to one uh, the, in 2011, and then he sort of blew it up by demanding more in spending cuts, and particularly in tax hikes, than Republicans would ever accept. So basically he's say, saying, all these things I had an opportunity to do in my first term, I promised to do right, in the and, second term. And Monica and, Crowley uh, just pointed out he, he had Democratic control of the House and the Senate for the first two years of his term. Indeed he did. Uh, for instance, I mean, take Obamacare. Uh, he, he went to great lengths not to be bipartisan. Remember, he used reconciliation so he could get just a majority vote, would, which would pass it in the Senate. If he'd reached some bipartisan compromise with Republicans, uh, it, the world would look completely different for the president now. And, and he had so many opportunities to be bipartisan, to do things that he's talking about doing in his second term. He had so many chances in his first term. He ignored them or he opposed them. Uh, my point is, if he had seized them, he'd be in a great position for re-election today, not tied with Romney. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. Fred Barnes from the Weekly Standard. Fred, good to have you on. Thanks, John.